Hello everyone, this is Gary Bennett. Welcome to Objective-C for Absolute Beginners. I'd like to welcome to this, uh, you. This is my first uh, YouTube video for my book um, that I co-authored, Objective-C for Absolute Beginners. I'm doing this as part of a, kind of an experiment to go ahead and um, go through each chapter of my book, maybe do a quick 10-minute um, presentation on the key topics and points and objectives in that chapter and then post it on YouTube, but also I'm doing these live and you can um, ask Q&A questions uh, at the end um, about any questions that you have in that chapter or anything on Objective-C or Introduction to Object-Oriented Programming as well. And again, uh, these are free. I'll show you where you can go if you're watching this on YouTube that you can uh, get the go to webinar link and attend the, uh, the live session as well and ask questions. Just go to my website at excelme.com, scroll down to the excelme uh, training center and forum, which is basically forum at excelme.com. Click on the book, and this is what I use for all my, my classes and courses. So you'll have access to the, um, the book, and they will be the full session, including Q&A, will be recorded um, for that chapter that I'm covering. Tonight's class, because I'm just covering, um, I'm, I'm doing a short one tonight, it's only going to be 30 minutes because I have some personal issues i got to take care of at the hospital uh, for a relative. Um, but um, they'll normally be about an hour long and I'll cover the full chapter. Tonight I'm just going to cover the first half of chapter one and I think it will fit nicely into a 10 minute YouTube video, at least the live presentation. The full recording including all Q&As, you'll be able to watch in high def uh, just by clicking on that chapter and you'll have a link here to play the movies just like for my paid courses which will look like something like this. You'll have a link here that you can go ahead and play it. Now, if you have problems playing it, it may buffer uh, just because your download speed uh, may vary. So um, just let it um, just let it buffer up. Maybe hit play and uh, let the playhead advance as it's downloading, and um, and then go ahead. Like I like to hit pause, let it buffer up, and um, then you won't have any issues. Just in case you're you have issues with download where you're at, depending on your internet speed. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into our first topic. I'm just looking at the the questions that people are posting here. Will these videos record? Be re yes, they're going to be um, under book one, topic one. Hopefully that answered your question, Bill. Okay. Uh, just real quick on my background, I've been doing software development uh, basically all my professional life. I've been doing iPhone development since it came out, um, available for people to, to write apps for. I got, um, it says two successful apps on the App Store, actually I think it's up to four or five now. And um, anyway, uh, you can read more about me if you'd like to on my homepage. And I think now we're, all, we're up to almost a thousand students that I've taught over the last uh, year and a half, going on two years now. So I've done this a lot online. I know what works and what didn't work um, over the years, and that's why we wrote the book. Is um, this course, this book, is written for someone who may never have programmed before, or someone who doesn't know Objective C or um, OOP, object-oriented programming. So we kind of start from the basics and work our way up. One thing that I need to talk about just for a second is the formula success. The first bullet here, believe that you can do it. I'm not teaching you, um, I'm not teaching you something like singing and, or how to be, um, how to be a painter or how to be an artist or a musician. I'm, I'm teaching you a skill and you can learn a skill. You got to believe that you can do it. And of course, like any skill, the more that you put into it, like being a plumber, a carpenter, a lawyer, or an attorney, uh, the better you're going to be at it. But you got to give yourself time. All developers started from scratch. Um, and that's one of on my courses that I teach with this book. Um, I really go through from a motivational standpoint every night. It's just you can do this, you can get through it. You got to be patient with yourself and don't give up. Okay, the forum already showed you, um, excelme.com slash forum. 
and the topics, uh, the chapters, we're going to talk about uh, becoming a great programmer, some programming basics tonight, and then we're going to be covering the other three uh, chapters every Wednesday night at uh, 6 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, you can go to the forum and sign up on the forum. Actually, I may not have showed that where that was at. Just click on the forum and go to the book and say chapter one every topic here you can go ahead and register right there and you'll be reminded and you can uh, you can attend or not at least you have that access and so this is what we're going to be talking about over the next 14 um, or so Wednesdays and then I'll start repeating them afterwards all right so I, I use a key piece of technology in order to teach object-oriented programming and one of that is called Alice. It's available freely at alice.org. I talk about it in my book and the reason I use Alice is uh, Alice was produced by Carnegie Mellon University uh, as an aid for high school and college students to learn object-oriented programming without having to learn a very complex and at times overwhelming integrated development environment like Xcode or Java Eclipse and have not only having to learn all the syntax um, you know and all of this but also how to how to navigate um, and learn what an object is what, what a method is what an event is um, so Alice kind of simplifies that for me and you so I can focus on teaching you OOP principles without having to quickly delve in at the same time and teach you um, a very complex uh, development environment like Xcode. So we're going to be using Alice to learn the principle um, like, um, like what an object is and what a method is. We'll build a simple app using Alice and then we're going to build it in Objective-C right after that. And we'll do that for every chapter. Do it in Alice first, get successes, learn the principles, then apply it with Objective-C and that's what I do in the book as well okay and it's cross-platform it works on Mac PC Linux I think that's the three major ones and again freely available at alice.org alright so what do you need to learn in order to be a uh, iOS developer well um, what do you need well first of all you have to have an Intel based Mac you can't do this on another platform there are some exceptions right now that just have occurred with um, uh, with what Apple allows you to develop your code on. But at the end of the day, you got to have an Intel-based Mac. You got to have Xcode, which is the integrated development environment, which is kind of akin to what Alice does. And um, you need to learn object-oriented programming, Objective-C, Cocoa Touch, the iPhone SDK, iOS SDK, and then if you want to add things like multiple languages, that's called localization. You want to put telemetry inside your application so you know how many users use your app. And then, of course, how to navigate the App Store and iTunes Connect. And so over my courses, I teach all this. We're going to focus on these guys right here over the next 14 or so weeks. First part of the stack. Okay, again, what do you need uh, for these courses? Alice, you need to have Intel-based Mac, um, either Snow Leopard or Leopard. IOS um, and the software development kit downloaded at developer.apple.com slash iPhone. You do not need to pay the $99 to download the uh, developer.apple.com. You do need to register though in order to download that. All right, and uh, if you haven't already, where you can download that is at I got a bookmark here. You'll get a username and password. You want to go ahead and log in. And you can go ahead now and download your SDK, uh, the latest SDK and everything right here after you've uh, created your login and everything. Okay, um, the other thing I recommend is dual monitors. All your Macs have a little dongle uh, port on the side where your USB is, whether it be a uh, MacBook or uh, a Mac Pro, and you can have two monitors where you can move things from one screen to another. Makes it easy, just kind of a recommended thing. 
Uh, you don't have to buy any extra hardware besides your other um, your other monitor, and you're good to go. Okay, so let's go through some of the term terminologies, and then on next Wednesday's uh, class in YouTube video, uh, class number two, we'll go ahead and write our first Alice application. But let's kind of go through some of the terminology. What is an algorithm? It's the step-by-step -step processes process to solve a problem. It can be written mathematically. Dust off your math book on that. You could do it in a flow chart. And of course, here's just kind of a little joke here on what an algorithm is. So anyway, it's a process, whether it be written out in English um, on a piece of paper, typed up, it's a, it's a way to solve a problem. In this case, it's going to be what you want your iPhone app to do and what those processes and steps are. Okay, what is a computer program? It's basically an algorithm, your algorithm, written in the programming language. In this case, Objective-C. And then it's eventually compiled into the zeros and ones that are going to be necessary in order to run your application. Pseudocode is another name that we're going to use for kind of writing out what your application is going to do. And it will be written out in a way that kind of looks like um, computer programming uh, terminology and syntax.